This is a huge thing for Atlanta. <laughs> the owner's 82 years of age. He knew he didn't have a quarterback on a roster. Cousins after Stafford. You can make an argument that Cousins is the second best quarterback in the NFC after Stafford. I know you got Hurts. You want to bring in Jordan Love, Goff, Prescott, whoever you want him, uh, Purdy. But you can make an argument that Cousins is the second best quarterback. I'm not sure if I would uh, if I would support that, but you can make the argument. And he now coming off the Achilles, I'm going to expect him to bounce back. He's 36 years of age. They bring in Mooney. They obviously have uh, Kyle. They got the tight end. London, this is a bad division. This was a home run for uh, the Falcons. Now, listen, does that mean they're going to win a Super Bowl? No. Does that necessarily mean they're going to win the NFC? No. But as far as where they were with the two quarterbacks, Ritter and Henneke, and where they are now, and then Minnesota is left for Sam Donald, this is a no-brainer. You can't even debate it. Yes. Cousins. No, you can't. I can't. Can. No, you yes. can't. I can't. Well, no. Steve, yeah. I'm about to oh, debate, you're, you're debate with you. You hate Cousins. Okay. You know oh, I don't hate him. Cousins. I don't hate him. Cousins is. Yes, you do. I Play do the sound of two years ago. Oh, you know you're not a fan. I, I can say. Well, listen, get I'm him, not bro. a fan you because the man's got one player. Hold on. I'll tell you what. You love his agent, though. Damn right. His agent is beautiful. Shout to Mike McCarthy. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not getting there. Listen, John Rose and Mark Shapiro, they ain't going nowhere. Those are my boys. So, I don't need an agent. He's a fucking 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 agent. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. See, you need to listen to me more. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is that I still don't need Kirk Cousins' agent. But I'd be, I'd be, I'd be damned if he ain't a good one. He ain't a good one because this man's got Kirk Cousins some money. Let me tell you something, Louis Riddick. Let me school doggy here for a oh, second, God. right now, right now, right now, because this is just blasphemy that you're saying. I have to take in it. You're, if you're talking about the player, I can see to everyone that Kirk Cousins at this point is better than Russell Wilson. That's not what we're talking about. Mm. I'll even give it to him knowing he's coming off an Achilles injury, okay, mm. which can be tricky even though he's not a mobile quarterback, and so you don't expect much from him in terms of mobility anyway. But still, an Achilles injury is an Achilles injury. Look at Russell Wilson on the Steelers. You had Mitchell Trubisky. You had Mason Rudolph, okay? Not Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mason Rudolph, okay? And you had Kenny Pickett, who I – believe the biggest reason he was drafted is because he was at the University of Pittsburgh and they shared the same, they shared the same damn facilities and a familiarity and an affection and affinity for the dude is what made you take him. But that's neither here nor there. My point is, Dane Russell Wilson, the defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers lugged these brothers through the regular season into the playoffs with 10 victories on the season, no offense. They Russell Wilson threw 26 touchdowns last season. The Pittsburgh Steelers threw 25 in the last two years combined. Okay? I see Pickens there. I know Deontay Johnson's gone. I got faith that you're going to find somebody else, whether it's Austin III or somebody else, right? I got Najee Harris and this brother Warren out of the backfield. I got Fryermuth at the tight end spot. I got a decent offensive line. I got a defense that's advantageous and that can do some things. Kirk Cousins in Atlanta... They got some talent with London and John Robinson and these guys. I get that. But in the end of the day, we're not really expecting much from the Atlanta Falcons. If the Steelers could get any kind of production from the quarterback spot, they could potentially make some noise. That is what I am saying, which to me is why this is bigger than Kirk Cousins in Atlanta. The only thing you got going for you in Atlanta is the fact that you're in the NFC South. Nobody seems to want the division money enough. They seem to be giving it away every chance they get. That's about all you got going for you. I think Russell Wilson in Pittsburgh is a bigger deal. Six years in Minnesota, the brother got less playoff wins than that. Stephen A. Stephen and A. I don't. know it's not just him, it's a team, but damn, the six years, you, you certainly go to the negotiate table, you certainly make your money. Are you going to sit there with a straight face and tell me that in the playoff games that Kirk Cousins played, Kirk Cousins played well? Is that what you're going to tell me next? No, look. C come on now. Let me ask come you on this. now. If you, if you took a poll of 32 teams, 32 GMs, and you said okay. Russ – Kirk, right I, now. I, I, I conceded that Who at the start of my soliloquy. I know Kirk Cousins better. Then how could you say that. he's not going to have a bigger impact on his but team than this year? I, I'm saying that look at the team the Steelers have. Steelers, one could easily argue, is a quarterback away from challenging in the AFC because so much whoa, whoa, other whoa, whoa, pieces whoa, 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 are there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What whoa, whoa, the hell is Atlanta? Whoa, 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 whoa. Challenging what? 
Excuse in me. The I, didn't say, I didn't say Kansas City, but they can challenge anybody else in the AFC. You damn right they can. The Steelers? If you get good quarterback play from the Steelers, they can't challenge Baltimore, Cincinnati, hey, Buffalo, you know what? Miami. Steve, you know what? I'll say Steve, this Houston. to you. I'll say this. I'll say that Patrick Queen will have a bigger impact on wow. Pittsburgh than Russell Wilson. Wait, 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 all right. All right. We hey, hey, Vegas can't be choosy, baby. If that's what you're you know going to tell me, I'll take it anywhere. Patrick Queen's going to have it. a bigger all impact I on that team was, than Russell Wilson. Decent quarterback play is going to help the Pittsburgh Steelers immensely. That's, that's what true. I said. That's true, but we're talking about the biggest. Russell Russell ain't no force multiplier at this point in his career. He ain't going to make George Pickens that much better. He ain't going to make Pat Fryermuth that much better. Kirk I Cousins, think... because, because of his impact and his knowledge in this offense, I promise you, I promise you Drake London's going to go I think off. Where you're I wrong, promise you Kyle I Pittsburgh's think where you're go wrong. off. They're going I think off, where, man. I think where you're wrong is that you're missing what an upgrade Russell Wilson is going to be compared Over. to the people that Pickens hold, hold and those up. boys had thrown in the football. Hold up. You know you know as well as I know, right? See, this is what people I don't understand. You're, you're a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan, right? Yes. Yes, I you am. Know, Stephen A., you know, how bad, you know how bad Matt Canada was. You know it. He was. You know how bad he was. But you know what? No one wants to give Kenny Pickett the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what? He was a victim of what was happening there. We don't want to give him the benefit of the doubt at all. So you don't think this should be a competition between him and Russ? I don't think it should. I think if you, it's a competition. You think they should I, just I, hand I, it to I, Russ? Talk, talk, no, 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 no. This is what I mean. I think it's an, an indictment against Russell Wilson if we see that it's a quarterback battle in Pittsburgh and it's a tough decision for them to make. I think it's I an indictment against Russell Wilson. Go ahead. No, Bill, you know, I think it's. Uh, Lewis, you are 1,000% right. This is the second argument I've won already here in the first half hour. (laughs) If you look at Russell Wilson and the Steelers right now, they are still the fourth-place team in the AFC North. Burrow, they're not better than. They're not better than, obviously, the Ravens. And if Deshaun Jackson plays, they're not better than the Browns, who last year obviously made the playoffs. And the Browns made a great move getting a Denver receiver. He's going to help them. Atlanta, which only last year, Judy, right, Atlanta last year only finished two games back of Tampa, and they were involved in Week 17. That division stinks. Carolina's bad. New Orleans isn't great. And Tampa's pretty good, but they were 9-8. and eight. Now you bring in Cousins with Mooney, an experienced quarterback who is top five or six easy in that conference. That team's going to win 10-11 games. You can't tell me the Steelers are going to do that. So just from a game perspective, they're going to go from 7 to 10, and Pittsburgh might win this 9, is, might win is, 8. Who this knows? This is, what's fun, this is what's and funny. And this about is why you're this wrong is, this again. Is, this is what's funny about you. First of all, the Steelers are allergic to last place. So let's get that straight. You can talk to the other three teams in the AFC North all you want to. Steelers ain't finishing last place no year. That's number one. <laughs> number two, it's amazing. To show the audience how slick doggy dog is you understand and i gotta get my man snoop dog on with you the dog talking the doggy you understand that i'm gonna gonna make that happen for you (laughs) here's the deal man this is the thing that absolutely positively kills me about you doggy goes out there with it and he says yo they only finished two games behind tampa what was tampa's record Nine and, nine, eight. And eight. nine and eight. Nine and eight. You act like they were 13 and three or 13 and four, but you only finished two games. Now you, you left that little nugget out. They were nine and eight for crying out loud in Tampa. What, like they were 12 and five or 13 and four or something? Don't give me that. The Atlanta Falcons finished seven and 10. You know, All right, you got, you got Kirk Cousins. Will they be better? Yes. I have no doubt about that. Would they challenge for the AFC, the NFC North, the South rather? Yes, I do. But I'm talking about. Russell Wilson going to Pittsburgh with what Pittsburgh has in place, I believe will mean more than Kirk Cousins I don't going to Atlanta. So you, so, so you so you were just you just totally saying Kenny Pickett's out of the picture. Damn yeah, right. that's what I was gonna say. Do you even know? How do you no, even know Russell ain't. Wilson's gonna be the starter? That's what I'm saying. Russell How do you Wilson, know that? So, you don't me, know that. I scored 26 touchdowns and saw eight interceptions. I don't care I saw, what he did I, last excuse year. Excuse me. I saw, it, I saw him doing it for a coach that hated him. You know what I'm saying? And best of the last two games. I saw that too. I saw I, he hurt himself because he alienated the team with how he came in there with all of the perks that he was that he was suff, that he was stomaching at the at, at the expense of his teammates. And so that was a bad situation. That's not gonna happen in Pittsburgh. Now I'm looking at the fact that you can't throw to save your life if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers for the last two years. You get a quarterback that can do something. Only 13. He's never thrown more than 13 interceptions in a season, and he only did that once. I like Russell Wilson's chances in Pittsburgh compared to Cousins in Atlanta. 
Mm. Doesn't he, Lewis? He's lost. I don't know where he's coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of the dumbest. I've been with him woods. a long time. This is he's ridiculous. A, without yeah, he, a map he, or a compass. Look, you are. Look, look, all right, I got to go to break, and you're so loud, I can't even hear producers. I have no idea of what they're telling me to do.